Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a lot of manga to get through, but we are in the month of December, which is the month of giving, and we have quite a bit of giveaways for you guys this month. I've been talking with Right Stuff, they agreed to some bundles for you guys, so make sure to stick until the end of the video so you guys can figure out what those bundles are. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the manga. All right, hey guys, we're going back into the hand cam here. And today's video, we're gonna do it a little bit different. I usually do announcements at the beginning, but I'm gonna save them for the end this time. Uh, let me know how you guys prefer your announcements. Do you guys like them in the beginning or the end? Or not at all, who cares about my announcements? But <laughs> anyways, starting off, we're gonna start off with quite a big one here, which is Steins Gate, the complete manga edition. It's This is a beautiful release by Udon Entertainment. This is the first time I've heard of them. Um, I don't know if they're just the ones that make the Barnes & Noble exclusive, but they did an amazing job with this hardcover edition. You guys know I love me some hardcovers, so I'm really glad that I found out about this one. Quick shout out to my YouTube members because Nike Tech, one of my Zodiac members, uh, he's the one that does all of my announcements on my Discord, which if you guys haven't joined, definitely join. I'm pretty active on there if you guys want to talk anytime there. Uh, but he did notify me that this was being released and I couldn't pass up a good looking hardcover edition. So of course I had to get it, but yeah, I'm not sure why it's wrapped in plastic. I can't find uh, what the rating for this is. I don't see if it's mature or anything. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a closer look at this. I lost my box cutter, so I'm gonna be using some scissors today. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. So I had to order this on Barnes & Noble. I don't buy from there too much, so uh, this didn't quite get me to the free shipping. So I did have to buy a little thing extra here just to get to the free shipping. So I just got some uh, bookmarks from Harry Potter, uh, like Harry Potter. So decided to get these. They didn't have any anime bookmarks, which sucks. I would have preferred some anime bookmarks, but Harry Potter is great as well. I do love me some Harry Potter, so good thing to have some of those so yeah now let's get into this which there is a small dent here on this top left hand corner which does kind of suck uh, but it's only there i don't see any damage anywhere oh well i spoke too soon there's some damage here on this corner as well and all right yeah i think that's it so let's open it up and the artwork is okay not the best I've seen, um, but yeah, this anime, I've heard a lot of great things about the anime and I'm pretty sure, ooh, we have a poster here, look at that, nice. Uh, but the anime, I haven't uh, watched it, I've heard lots of great things and it is on my, on my watch list, um, but I just haven't sat down to watch it and I do plan to watch the anime first before reading the manga, uh, just because I think that might be the best first experience for this series. Uh, based off what I've heard. But yeah, beautiful release. Glad to have it. Thanks, Nike Tech, for notifying me about this one. All right, since we started big with that hardcover, might as well show off this Colossal Edition uh, from Attack on Titan. This is, which volume is this? Volume 6. Almost done with these. I can't wait to have these complete and I can't wait for the final season. I am anime only for this one so far. I do plan to eventually read the manga just because my uh, sister-in-law swears by it. She says that there are some details in the manga that are just better to read them. Uh, so I can't wait to read this once I'm done with the anime. I'm gonna finish the anime first, then jump back and read the manga. But I love these colossal editions. And if you guys haven't checked out Weabra's video he recently made a hardcover edition of his attack on titan colossal editions which was honestly pretty awesome uh that's one of the most unique things i've seen any manga tuber do and he did an amazing job with it so definitely go check out his video i'll link it up here if i remember uh, but yeah awesome stuff man Plunder, I finally got volume one. I did show off most of these in last month's manga haul. I picked up all of the ones that they had available from Right Stuff during the Yen Press sale, uh, but this one wasn't available. I believe it was out of stock. I don't remember if it was unavailable on Right Stuff, but I went ahead and got this one from Amazon because um, for some reason, this one is going for pretty ridiculous prices on eBay and Mercari. 
So I don't know if that means that this series is starting to go out of print, but I didn't want to risk it and I grabbed it from Amazon. It did kind of have to pay a little bit more than I would have liked uh, just because I had to pay for shipping and this one came from overseas. There was It wasn't even available here in the States anywhere, uh, but I'm glad to have it. I don't mind paying that little bit of extra uh, just in case this ever does go out of uh, print here soon. But yeah, volume one. I think for this series, I am gonna start off reading the manga just because I haven't heard the greatest things about the anime. Uh, so I wanna experience this one in the manga format first. One of my most anticipated reads here is Gantz by Hiroya Oku. I've been loving his stuff. I loved Inuyashiki and I'm loving Gigant. And I've heard this is his greatest work. So I can't wait to get into this one. Uh, most people aren't too fond of these. Bricks is what they call them, but I don't mind them. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they end up making these into hardcovers. I would probably sell these off and get those. But for now, I'll be picking these up and hopefully they do end up releasing all of them because I have heard some things that they may not finish this in this format. But hopefully that's not true. Um, but yeah, really excited to read this one. I think I'm going to wait uh, until I get this series complete and then I'll go ahead and read through them because uh, Hiroya Oko's work they're really easy to read through they're not too text heavy and they're a lot of fun they're most of his at least what I've read so far are fun reads uh, so yeah I'm pretty sure I can get through this series pretty quickly based off how fast I read Gigant and Inuyashiki so yeah can't wait to get this complete all right this next one I've actually heard a lot of people hating on recently at least and that's ZOM 100 volume 4. Everybody's reading log has been saying that after volume 2 this series is starting to go downhill um, which is honestly a little discouraging just because I've only read the first two volumes and I personally am enjoying it but I mean that's the case with everyone so we'll see how I feel about it once I get into volume 3 uh, but right now I love it and these covers are pretty cool. I love how vibrant and colorful they are. But yeah, for now, I would say just to hold off, maybe wait until volume five is released if you guys haven't started picking this one up and wait to see what um, people think about volume five. Uh, for what I would say about the first two volumes is that I really enjoyed it. I like the premise. Uh, these two characters, um, they're in a zombie apocalypse, but they couldn't be happier just because they both no longer have to work. So I definitely love that premise, um, but we'll see how volume three and four go. Uh, so yeah, here's the front. Oh, the backs are, are really nice too. Uh, and the artwork. Oh, I, I actually really enjoy the artwork for this series. So I'll open up to two pages just so you guys can take a look at the artwork. Uh, volume two, I think, had like a zombie shark, which that panel was amazing. I love sharks. So yeah, I really did love that panel. All right, these next two are two big series that I really want to get into. I just haven't had a lot of time recently to read manga, I'll be honest. Uh, we recently moved to a new house. I have my manga collection in, in my in this, this house, my old house. And yeah, I, we just haven't had the time to move everything. And I don't know when things will start to go back to normal and I will be able to read a little bit more. Um, but when I do, I am hoping that I can jump into these two series. I've heard a lot of great things of Hell's Paradise. We're already at volume 11 but I still haven't started it. Uh, covers are amazing for all of these. And then solo leveling, uh, another one that I've heard nothing but great things. This is a manhwa and let's see, yes, this one is all in full color, uh, which is one of the few full color manga that I have. Uh, there's not many made out there, but uh, the artwork for this one does look pretty good. As you guys can see there, uh, so yeah. That's all I have to say about these two. Hopefully I can get to them soon. All right, next up is a series that seems to have no issues uh, with all of the publishing delays going on with other manga, and that is Shaman King Omnibus 5. Uh, these things are just being pumped out and we're already at volume five. And I think I just recently started collecting this one about two to three months ago, so yeah. These are coming out like hotcakes. 
and I've been hearing good things as the series progresses. I know my good friend Prof Otaku wasn't enjoying this series at first, uh, but he says that now lately with these last couple of volumes, the story has been getting better. Uh, so can't wait to jump into this one. I personally do like the artwork. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, look at that. I mean, I think it actually looks really good. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to get into this one. All right, next up, we got a bunch of stuff from the two publishers, Yen Press and Seven Seas. Uh, these are all things that I picked up from the Right Stuff sale a while back. So I'm just gonna quickly gonna go through all of these. These are all things that I've pretty much shown before on the channel. So Trinity 7, volume 24. I've been picking these up for quite a while now. And this series just seems to keep going. I don't know when, how, how much volumes are left for this series, but we're already on volume 24, but I do love all of the covers to this one. And this one is actually really cool. I love her character design. I love my purple covers. Uh, so yeah, pretty cute here on the back as well. And then a new series actually, Murcielago, volume three and four. Uh, this is a series that I have been eyeing ever since I started picking up manga. I don't know why I didn't pick this one up sooner, but uh, this time around during the Yen Press sale, I decided to pick it up, but I might be too late now because a lot of these uh, are out of stock and who knows when they'll come back in stock. But I did pick up the first five volumes and all that was sent to me was volume three and volume four. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can get more of these soon. Uh, then a comic kill. I started picking this up. I wasn't planning to pick up the main series, uh, but as I mentioned in my last video, my members again uh, convinced me to pick it up just because of how different the manga is from the anime. Uh, so yeah, I'll be picking it up. And I actually really do like, whoops, I opened up to probably the most inappropriate scene there, but I do like the art style. I flipped through a few pages already and uh, the art is actually really nice for this series. All right. Next up, we got a Nasty Man manga here. Please put them on Takamine-san, uh, volume two. This one sounds really interesting. I don't know if I've talked about it in the channel before. I do have volume one, uh, but this one revolves around this girl who I believe can either stop time or reverse time anytime she removes her panties or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was really interesting and I do definitely want to check this one out. Although it, they are really thin volumes and I'm not sure what about the price, but yeah, it's 13 bucks retail, which might be around eight or something on right stuff. Uh, so yeah, not the cheapest for how thin these are, but hopefully it's at least uh, entertaining. All right, now this cover right here is beautiful. I do really love this cover here. This is Love of Kill, volume five. I mainly picked this series up just because I love sort of stories about assassins. And I've actually been hearing pretty good things about this one. So I'm glad I decided to start picking it up. Oh, here's the back. The back is actually really nice as well. And here's some of the artwork. All right, and then the last Yen Press manga here is Miruku-chan. Um, I really enjoyed the first two volumes I've read of this one so far. Um, I heard that the anime has quite a bit of fan service, which I was pretty surprised by because I don't remember there being a lot of fan service in the first two volumes. Maybe a little bit, but uh, from what I've heard on the anime, there's like an excessive amount of fan service. So. Uh, who knows what they decided to do there. I still haven't checked it out, but the artwork is amazing for this one. I, I love all of the shading that they use for this series. Looks really nice. And yeah, can't wait to check this one out. I think I'm a little behind. I need to read volume three and four. So maybe I'll binge those two here pretty soon. All right, now we're moving on to Seven Seas. And the first series that I picked started picking up here uh, is another one that I picked up or started to pick up thanks to the manga sloth. That is the girl from the other side. He's been hyping this one up and 
From what I can tell, there have been quite a few manga tubers that have actually been really enjoying this series. So I decided to jump on that train as well and I'm picking this one up. Uh, I actually did order all of the volumes from Right Stuff uh, during the last sale. Uh, however, these were the only ones that were in stock and sent to me. I at least have the first two volumes, so I could get started if I wanted to. Uh, but I think I'm going to wait for this one until I can get the rest. Uh, but yeah, artwork looks pretty interesting on this one. Uh, you can see sort of her face there. And this guy just kind of looks like a shadow or something. Um, but yeah, pretty unique artwork. I love all of the blacks being used in here. Uh, so yeah. Can't wait to get started on this one. I'm sure I will enjoy this series. Uh, next up, we have volume six and seven of Machi Maho. Uh, this is one that I've been picking up uh, thanks to Based Senpai's recommendation. Uh, he talks very highly of this one, and I do really love the artwork. If I open it up here, the artwork is pretty nice in my opinion. And this is a Magical Girl series, as the title suggests. Uh, apparently, they made the wrong person into a Magical Girl, and uh, they actually made sort of like an asshole type Magical Girl. So, sounds interesting. Heard great things. Just realized that she's sort of flicking us off here. So, yeah, hope that's fine with YouTube. Next up is one of my favorite Seven Seas releases. Uh, and not just Seven Seas, just one of my favorite releases um, of all of the publishers recently. I just love the look of this one. Um, it has a matte background, but a glossy finish on the images and on the text. And it just looks really nice. So I can't wait to see what they do with their uh, license of Tokyo Revengers. Hopefully they do something similar because this is my favorite released by them so far uh, but yeah i'm just kind of gushing over this uh manga release and just looking at all the sides but yeah die dark um this series i read volume one a couple months back and to be honest at this point i don't remember too much about it so i might have to go back and reread volume one um but yeah that's kind of why i don't like reading series as they're being released like this and this one took a couple of months to get here that's mainly my fault i thought i had ordered volume two back when i ordered volume one but i didn't so i had to wait for another sale from seven seas uh, before i could order volume two uh, so yeah my mistake but yeah that's kind of one of the reasons why i don't like um reading series as they're being released because once the new volume gets to me I might have already forgotten what I read from the previous volume, so uh, maybe I will just hold off on this series and focus more on some of my more completed series. Um, but I will be picking this one up just because I love the covers, uh, but yeah. I think instead I will go back and read Doro Hedoro because I do have that one complete. All right, and then the last three volumes from uh, Seven Seas are all Nasty Man manga from their Ghost Ship line. Let's see. Yep, these are all Ghost Ship. Uh, and they're all wrapped in plastic. So you guys know what that means. Uh, this one here, though, Arrow Ninja Scrolls, I took a chance on this one because I have heard um, the Meet the Weeb family's thoughts on this one, and he really didn't enjoy it. Um, but I decided let's give it a shot and let's see how what I think about this first volume and I think I also picked up volume two so I'll read the first two volumes and see what I think um, I do however just want to I'm curious I want to open it up and check out a few pages of this one. Oh, and wow after opening and taking off the plastic uh, the top portion of the front cover seems to have some sort of streaks on it it does look to be damaged it doesn't look like it's part of the manga so that is a little bit unfortunate after talking about how highly i do like my seven seas manga uh, so even they do have some issues with their manga as you guys can see there but um, opening it up let's take a look Whoa, okay so yeah, just opening up to this page. Looks like if I open up to anything else, might be a little bit too inappropriate. Uh, let's open to this page here. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, the artwork is actually not too bad. Um, 
but let me take a look at more pages off screen. All right, so yeah, this is definitely a nasty man manga. So yeah, I'll read the first two volumes and let you guys know my thoughts once I'm done with those two. Uh, but yeah, the other two are just series that I've already been picking up and I've shown in the past. We got Worlds in Harem Fantasia and Destiny Lovers Volume 8. I did enjoy both of these series. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a good Nasty Man manga, I would recommend both of these. Oh, actually, I haven't read Fantasia. I've read the original series. This is actually the spinoff. So I don't know how good this one is, but the main series, Worlds in Harem, was was really good and destiny lovers was was decent as well all right and the last thing here we got this box from amazon so if you guys know what released last month you guys probably know what's in here so let's take it out of the box all right so here it is the demon slayer box set uh, this is my favorite side of the box set. I did already take off the plastic wrap as well. Uh, this is just a beautiful artwork here on this side. I'll turn it around so you guys can see the other ones. On this side we have Nezuko. Uh, and then we have this battle here between Tanjiro and who knows who this character is. I haven't met him yet. Um, I'm, on, I'm anime only for this series. And then on this side, um, I did get this side spoiled for me. I saw another person's unboxing and they did say who this character is. So that kind of sucked, but I won't spoil anything here. But yeah, for this series, I was picking up the singles a couple months back, but when I heard that they were releasing a box set, I sold those off immediately because I knew I wanted to get this box set. And I'm glad I did because uh, this box set is really beautiful. I'm gonna open it up now so you guys can take a look at the spines there they are beautiful and i will take out one volume here can you guys guess which one i'm gonna pull out that's right volume 14 with mitsuri here love her i can't wait to read the manga and see some more of her i'm gonna open up a few pages here uh, just to see if i can see her in action okay so there she is with tanjiro interesting uh and yeah definitely the artwork and the manga does not compare at all with with the anime the anime is just beautiful it's some of the best animation i've ever seen in anime so uh for this series i am going to finish season two uh which should be starting here soon i think it actually starts this sunday and once i'm done with season two we'll pick up with the manga uh wherever that ends off on the on the on the volumes because i don't see the need to read the volumes of the manga where i've already seen in the anime just because i've heard that the anime is probably the best medium to consume this series i just want to read the volumes after season two because I don't know, I kind of can't wait for this one. I just want to read through it and uh, see how this series concludes. So, yeah. And personally, I actually just want to see some more of Mitsuri. But that's probably just me. Um, but yeah, beautiful spines on these, actually. They look really nice inside of this box set. Uh, so that will conclude this manga haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, now let's go into some of those announcements. Okay, so before we go into the giveaway details, uh, I just wanted to clarify a few things as far as my right stuff, uh, or sorry, my membership codes goes for right stuff. Uh, so just to give you guys a recap, uh, anyone who becomes a member to my channel, uh, hunters get a 5% off discount code for right stuff, spiders get a 10% off discount code for right stuff, and my zodiacs get a 15% fi off code for right stuff. Now, in the past, these codes worked on top of all of the Rice Stuff sales, uh, but recently during these holiday sales, they did reach out and mention that holiday sale items will not stack on top of my coupon codes. But either way, they have amazing prices already, so uh, you guys don't really need to use the code for them. Uh, it will still work on pre-orders and stuff that are in stock and not part of the sale. Uh, so yeah, that's the first thing. The other thing is my figure raffle. So every month, in case you guys don't know, I do host a figure raffle on my Discord. And this month that will be uh, ending on either the 17th or the 18th, just depends on how busy I am on the 17th. Sometimes Fridays can be a little bit hectic for me. So 
Uh, if that's the case, then we'll, we, we will announce the winner on the 18th. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Discord. Um, all of the details are on there. Uh, but for this month in December, uh, with all of the Zodiac members that I have, we are already on tier three, which means anybody who wins can choose any figure, any pre-order up to a hundred dollars. And to enter, you can either pay five dollars uh, per entry or become a member of the channel and Zodiacs get two entries into every figure giveaway and Spiders get one entry. Uh, so yeah, that's everything as far as my figure raffle goes. So now let's go into the giveaways. So yes, Right Stuff reached out to me towards the end of November and I'm super thankful that they're offering this to you guys. Uh, so the first thing that they'll be giving away to all of my viewers uh, they will be having a manga giveaway and a Blu-ray giveaway. Uh, so for the manga giveaway, what they'll be doing is they'll be bundling the Fairy Tale Masters Manga Omnibus Volume 1 and Volume 2, as well as Beast Complex Manga Volume 1. So that's three mangas in for the manga giveaway. And then for the Blu-ray giveaway, they'll be giving away the Bloom Into You Premium Box Set. That is a beautiful box set. I do have that one and I believe I have an unboxing on my channel. If I, I, if I do, I'll link it up here for you guys to check that out. Uh, so that's the first Blu-ray. Then they're also gonna be giving away Danganronpa and The Girl Who Left Through Time, which The Girl Who Left Through Time is a beautiful film. I love that film. So uh, good choices here. And yeah, those are the two free giveaways. So in order to enter those giveaways, all you have to do is in the month of December, comment on every video that I release in December and leave the hashtag RS manga giveaway to enter the manga giveaway or RSBR giveaway to enter the Blu-ray giveaway. Uh, so make sure to comment on every single video that I release in December because um, at the end of December, actually on Christmas day, I will be announcing the winners on my community tab. And the way that I'm gonna choose it is I'm gonna put all of my videos that released in December into a hat, and then I'm gonna randomly choose one of those videos. And then from that video, I will be choosing the winner using the comment picker as I usually do. So yeah, make sure to comment on every video that I release in December. Now, those are just the free giveaways. Um, they did also offer some exclusive giveaways for my members. So if you guys are interested in more giveaways, uh, definitely consider becoming a member. So they offer three different giveaways for my members. And uh, the way this these will work is every member, whether you're a hunter, a spider, or a zodiac, will be entered into these three exclusively. Uh, my hunters will get one entry into each of these giveaways. My spiders will get two entries into each of these giveaways and my Zodiacs will get three entries into each of these giveaways. And for the first exclusive giveaway, they will be giving away the Ninja Scroll Blu-ray, the Lupin the Third Last Job Blu-ray, and the Hana-chan and the Shape of World manga. Haven't heard of that one to be honest, but uh, the first two Blu-rays are nice ones, especially that Lupin the Third. I haven't seen Lupin the Third, but I heard that it's pretty popular. Um, but these giveaways are going to get better as we proceed, as you guys will see here in a bit. Uh, so that will be the first giveaway. Uh, the second one is Toradora Set 1 Blu-ray and Toradora Set 2 Blu-ray. And then for the manga in that bundle is the Perfect World Manga Volume 1. So for each of these giveaways, there will be two Blu-rays and one manga. And then for the last one, which is probably the best giveaway because you do get some limited edition Blu-rays, is the Ascendance of the Bookworm Blu-ray and the Surune Premium Box Set Blu-ray. That's a Sentai Filmworks release. I don't own that one, but I believe it is a sports anime. And then the, the manga that we'll be giving away for that one is the Solo Leveling Manga Volume 1, the Full Color Edition. Uh, so yeah, some pretty good things if you ask me. Uh, so for the month of December, my members have a lot of stuff going on. They are entered into my figure raffles. You guys get my Right Stuff discount codes. And then now you guys will 
have the chance to win these three bundles from Right Stuff. So yeah, it's definitely a great time to become a member. These giveaways will also be announced on Christmas Day, most likely on my Discord, because most of my Zodiac members are pretty active on my Discord. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Those are all of the giveaways. Those are all of the announcements. And I hope you guys enjoyed the manga haul. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.